In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Want to hear the bullshit every day that I got to listen to? Want to hear the shit? Want to see what it's like every day? Every day, you want to hear it? You really want to hear it? I'm going to sit here and pray my prayer rope, the Jesus prayer, in silence. And I'm going to just let you hear why I don't like coming to this place. Why I don't like coming here at all. Because there's no staff here that runs this place to keep people quiet. You got people here that just want to be violent. People that want to fight all the time. People that want to start trouble all the time. People that just constant, constant violent and troublemakers and everything. And then they want to know why they get hurt. Because they're opening their mouth, opening their mouth until they say the wrong thing to the wrong person. And then the next thing you know, things happen. You know? So I'm going to say the Jesus prayer. And uh, hopefully nobody's going to be coming over here to me and starting any shit with me. Because as much as I can be quiet and pray, well, I can hold down my own. I can seriously hold down my own. I will pray. In the name of the Father, Son, of the Holy Spirit, amen. I'm just going to pray silently. You can hear for yourself. You think God loves everybody? God said, Jacob I have loved and Esau I have hated. God also said that the sheep would be separated from the goats and the goats would be thrown in the lake of fire. Yeah, God does not love everybody. Not everybody's going to the same destination. All the atheists and those who hate Christ and those who are living in the flesh and following the things of their own will, they will not be in heaven. Their pride, their, their self-will, all that take their soul right to hell. Be around all these violent people and people that are just demonic, people that are uh, followers of the evil one, people that are, they're not lost souls. These are not lost souls. There are people who choose of their own free will to be who they are and where they are, what they do. They're not interested in reading the Bible and following Christ's word. They're not interested in having a love for the Holy Eucharist. They're not interested for having a love for going to confession, a love for the Holy Saints. They're not interested in any kind of repentance at all. They're interested and driven by their own passions, by the devil, by demons. There's not gonna be a time for these people that one day they're gonna wake up and be orthodox and have a very loving, caring spirit for God, for the Holy Eucharist, for all the holy things of, of Christ and his holy church. These are people that's gonna die in their own sin they die the way they are now in their own sin and there's only one place in which they'll spend eternity and that's the second death the lake of fire where the fires never go out and the worms never die so I'm just gonna sit back and I'm gonna pray Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, amen.
afraid of anybody but what I am afraid of is myself and what I might do but I always tell myself before you do something is that person or that person worth the consequences of what will happen to me. And I say no. Why should I put my life behind bars for the rest of my life or somebody like that? So this is what I do. I sit and I pray lest they come and put their hands on me now I take care of business In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, 
I condemn to eternal hell fire every antichrist, every in, unclean, impure, evil, wicked, foul, ungodly spirit in this entire place. I condemn to eternal hell fire. I curse and condemn every fallen angel, every devil, every demon, every antichrist spirit, and every spirit in this place whose name is not found written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I curse and condemn you to the eternal flaming fire. The Father condemns you. The Son, He condemns you. And the Holy Spirit, He condemns you. Go now, in the name of Jesus Christos. Nika. Amen. This is spiritual warfare. Take a good listen. Listen. Hear it. I sit here and pray. Unless someone puts their hands on me. I sit and I pray. This is what I am having to be in the midst of. But the darkness is only on the outside. It's not on the inside. It's on the outside. Christ and Holy Orthodoxy is in the inside. The devil and Satan and all his fallen angels and all those going to hell, they're on the outside of me. Outside the gates. They have no love for Christ, no love for the church, no love for the Eucharist, no love for orthodoxy, no love for the faith, no love for communion of saints. They have nothing. Do I feel sorry for them? Absolutely not. Is Jesus Christ weeping for all the souls burning in the lake of fire right now? Is he crying for them? Absolutely not. The words of King David in the Psalms, he says, Lord, do I not hate them with a perfect hatred, those who hate you? That's the words of King David. The words of Christ, woe unto you hypocrites. Woe unto you, hypocrites. You whitewashed sepulchers filled with dead men's bones and all hypocrisy. It was God who said, Book of Deuteronomy, blessings I give you if you hear my word and obey it and curses I give to you for all those who do not obey my word. Blessings and curses. Book of Deuteronomy, go read it. Book of Revelation, last book of the New Testament. Everyone whose name was not found written in the Lamb's Book of Life was cast into the lake of fire, the second death. God is not weeping for any soul that he cast into the second death, the lake of fire. I pray. Kyrie supriste eleison. Kyrie supriste eleison. Kyrie supriste eleison. Kyrie supriste eleison. Kyrie supriste eleison.
Kyrie Yeshu Christe Elishum. Kyrie Yeshu Christe Elishum. Even though within my heart I'm burning in anger against the evil, the darkness, and the wickedness in this place, they know I'm a priest, and all they do in their unbelief is talk their shit. And I pray. I pray, but I do condemn their evil and their wickedness, and I do condemn the evil spirits and all spirits whose names are not found written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I do condemn them, and I do curse them with the eternal hell fire. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I suffer their evil. I suffer their wickedness. I suffer being around their darkness. And I pray. I pray. I don't pray for their healing or their salvation. I pray for their destruction in the second death. You know who I pray for? Just like the words of Jesus Christ. Father, I do not pray for the world, but I pray for those whom you have given to me. These are the words of Jesus Christ. Do not think I came to this earth to bring peace. I didn't come here to bring peace. I came to bring a sword. The words of the Messiah. I'll be glad when I leave this city and shake the dust off my feet against it and say to it, it'll be better in the day of judgment for Sodom and Gomorrah than for this whole city. And I won't look back. I'll give it over to the destruction from God. I can't wait till I have my hermitage where I can live in silence, live in quiet, and pray, do the divine, celebrate the divine liturgy in all my monastic and orthodox prayer services, and live in silence to God, between me and God, monk, monos, alone with God. And the Lord Jesus Christ will deliver me soon from this place. And I will be in my hermitage. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God's peace is with the brethren on the old calendar in true holy orthodoxy. Amen.